Tom's? Why don't you bring my mailbox? Yeah. It's open. Shouldn't drink so much coffee. I think it was the donuts. detail and we blew it but Eddie the trunk was open I'm not blaming you guys I blame myself oh, come on Eddie it was a genius plan mathematical probabilities work when right? I make a plan it works it should it's the human factor people make mistakes the last time it put me in the joint for five years and today I could have smashed that trunk open in a second we didn't have a second, dummy. The schedule said get in the car, not the trunk. The trunk was open. I'm no genius like you, Eddie. Oh, some genius. Oh, wow. What I need is robots, programmed. If they see an open trunk, they ignore it. It's not in the program. Well, if I could just run a job with robots, maybe I'd be all right. Oh, forget it. Get lost. I'll be in touch. Sure, Eddie. Listen, you guys need some bread? No, we'll be all right. Jojo can always go back to shampooing rugs, and I still collect unemployment. But what about you? Just get out of here, will you? Hey, if you don't pull any jobs, what are you going to do for bread, Eddie? What he means is we'll send you something if we make a score. I'll be all right. How long do you think it'll be before you come up with those robots? Oh, I don't know, Jojo, but when I do, I'm going to need somebody to polish them nice and shiny. So long, Eddie. Ciao, Ed. Are you afraid your false teeth will drop at any time? Use Gripotan, the new denture-tested adhesive. Now eat corn on the cob, fresh fruit, caramel candy. All right, get these men out of here, Sergeant. Meanwhile, locally, we'll have night and morning local. When your day is done and you've no place to run, no place to go. When your bridges burn and you've no place turn where will you go when the love you heart the love you keep inside begins to show that's when you will need that's when you will need 
place all day. Eddie? Hmm? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna go out. What's the matter, Eddie? Nothing, I'm just thinking. About what? Animals. Oh, I like animals. Better than some people. Animal will give you a lot of love and not ask anything in return. There's this kitten hanging around out back at the restaurant. I saw some dogs last night. You like dogs? I am flipped for dogs. My uncle had a kennel, and every summer I used Boy, to... Boy, they were something. What kind were they? Dogs. Mean. Scary. Very, very smart. That's it. That's the one. Oh, it's a Doberman. It's a Doberman Pinscher. Are you looking to buy? So happens I know a Doby going into whelp any day now. Well? Yeah, it's gonna have pups. No, no pups. I want him full grown. Hmm. Watchdog, maybe, huh? Well, I want him trained. Trained for what? Well, you know, for instance, uh, maybe at night, if you've got something you want guarded or... Oh! 
Yeah, you want a security dog. You want a guard dog. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. I'm afraid you're in the wrong place for that. <laughs> well, where's the right place? Well, there's several, you know, security outfits here in town. They specialize in trained dogs. I'm sure they'll be able to help you for a fee. Well, I don't want to rent. I want to own. Uh, I don't think they want to sell their special trained dogs. But, uh... Hmm. The Air Force might. The Air Force? What do they have to do with dogs? Oh, they train all your war dogs. Oh, don't thank me for the meal, kid. You'll earn it. Besides, my publisher will pick up the tab. Do you mind telling me something? Why'd you single me out? Well, my magazine caters to young people. And I want to do a story on the returning serviceman. Since you're mustering out soon, your CO recommended you. I'll be glad to answer anything you want. It's an interview with Barney... Um... Airman First Class, Bernard M. Greer. Good. I never interviewed a trainer before. Handler. Oh, come on. You look like you're a lot more than a handler out there. I can do anything a trainer does. The truth is, when I first got into the service, I didn't know anything about animals at all. After basic, they sent me to Lackland and put me through air police school. So I signed up for handler training. That's when I met Baran. An army buddy? In Hawaii. Like to see his picture? Sure. Mm, that's nice. Oh, say, you got another copy of this? I'd like to send it along to my magazine with, with the story. Yeah, sure. You keep that one. Good. Say, um, where's Baran now? He's dead. Vietnam. Shot, huh? No. No, I was out on patrol. Baran on leash. The area was heavily mined. All of a sudden, he yanked me so hard at me. He fell on the mine I was going to step on. On purpose, Mr. Newton. To save my life. It was an interesting talk we had last week, Barney. Would you be interested in going into a security dog business? You take care of the training, I'll take care of the bread. But you got to make up your mind now. There's only one thing. This isn't just a large line of bull you're handing me, is it? <laughs> no, Barney. It's just too good to be true. One thing I got to know, when do you get out of the service? Well, I mean, when can you get out? The earliest. June 9th. June 9th. That's it, huh? That's it. OK. I'll be in touch, partner. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Is it quiet around here? Oh, this place is quiet, all right. Nearest neighbors are the Wilkins, about half a mile down the road. So you're a writer. That's right. I'm working on a book. The last fellow who rented this place started raising rabbits. He did all right at first. Then the supply outproduced the demand. Raise them right here in this barn. I don't expect you'll have much use for the barn, no.
How much for this place? Seven fifty a month and a year's lease. I'll give you four hundred a month and a three month lease. You talk me into it. Go back to the house. You guys want anything? Jojo? Oh, no thanks, June. Maybe later on. How about you, Sammy? I don't want to hurt your feelings, Junie. I like coffee, but the way you make it, it gives me argida. It gives you what? The Italian kid we used to know. Every time he'd got a sour stomach, some acidity or something, he'd say it gave him argida. <laughs> Garlic gave him argida. Yeah, and dames gave him argida. A bad day at the track? That gave him margin. Yeah, and the way you make coffee, that would give him margin. <laughs> well, nothing for JoJo, a diet soda for Eddie, and Tums for Sammy. Mailox. <laughs> hey, Eddie, if this whole thing doesn't work, we're all gonna have at you. What do you mean, don't work? Well, now, don't get mad, Eddie, but on the way in from the airport, we looked the town over. Are you sure there's any money in that bank? Well, on the way in from the airport, did you happen to notice a factory? Yeah, I saw it. Well, there are 3,000 people working in that factory, and on the second and last Friday of every month, their payroll is handled by our bank. See, Sammy? I told you he's a genius. Yeah, let me see now. According to Department of Labor figures on the average industrial worker's wage, 3,000 workers minus 3% for MEO jobs, janitors, etc. By my calculations, the day before payday, there's $750,000 in that bank. Retirement money.
Nice place, huh? Yeah, great. Lots of room for the training area. Nobody to bother us out here. We'll have to build some obstacle courses, high jumps, that sort of thing. Right, we'll get on it. Don't worry about a thing, trainer. We'll take care of everything. Probably be a good place right over there in the barn for him. We may need to stick up some chain link around the place, front off a training area. Fine. Sammy, Jojo, I want you to meet Barney, our trainer. Oh, a pleasure. All right. Jojo, I think we'll put the kennels over by the barn. What? Kennels over by the barn. And oh. we'll need some water buckets and dishes. I'll take care of it. Yeah, let me talk to these guys for a couple of minutes, trainer. Uh, June, why don't you uh, show Barney around? Sure. Come on. How do you fit into all this? I'm going to help train the dogs. That's your line? No, but it's better than being a waitress. Well, there's a lot more to handling dogs than... Oh, come on. You can work me in someplace, can't you? Yes. Sure. Putting the kennels in the barn. Well, no, the guy who owns the place, he don't want us in there. Well, is there something wrong with putting them here? No. It's fine to start with. Sure it is. All you need is some stake out posts, and you're all set. What do you know about stake out posts? When we have a minute, I'll tell you what I know about dogs. And that'll only take about a minute. Trainer, come here, I want to talk to you a minute. How many dogs do you think we're going to need, trainer? Six to start with. Anything that goes wrong, there's always a market for German shepherds. Shepherds? So let me ask you, trainer, uh, how hard would it be for you to train Doberman Pinchers? Topies? What are you talking about? First of all, I never worked with anything but shepherds. German shepherds. Yeah, but you see, Dobermans really scare people out of their wits. Dobies were the real killers in Germany. What do you want killers for? No, I don't want them. No, but I know where they're going. And the people want them. Gee, Betty, I never worked with them. I don't know. Hey, what are those? Teeth marks. Teeth marks? They're where I've been bitten. The dogs bite you? Until they find out. Find out what? That they love me. What are you doing? There's your dogs. You want them? I told you, I never worked Dobermans. I don't know what to do with them. Well, you remember what I told you. Now, these are the babies that are going to impress our clients. What's the bulldog supposed to do? Watch the others? Sammy, what the hell is he doing here? Oh, uh, uh, it was a uh, house policy. Uh, you, you buy so many dogs. Ain't that right, Barney? You buy enough, they throw in one free. Yeah, the guy said nobody likes those kind anymore. So we could hurt the dog's feelings, so we took it. Yeah. <laughs> What's his name? His name, uh, J. Edgar Hoover. <laughs> Stay. Stay. Good dog. That a girl. Good boy. Good boy. We'll give it a try. I'm sorry, trainer. I can't tell them apart. 
Not unless I see him in here and I can read the name on the door. Come on, tell me the truth. Can you tell them apart? Not always. I guess we'll have to do something. Let's do what they do at the track. Well, what do you mean, what they do at the track? Each horse has his own colors. They were the doggonest gang that a man did ever see. All of them were animals, just like you and me. A freedom to themselves, to match them there were none. Famous both as man's best friend. A public enemy number one. Our, 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 our. Folks said that their bark was much bigger than their bite. All of them ferocious and none of them too bright. They may not win blue ribbons for knowing what they knew, but they sure steal the prizes for doing what they do. They were the doggonest gang that a man did ever see. All of them were animals just like you and me, a breed unto themselves. To match them, there were none. Famous both as man's best friend. Public enemy number one. Some of them may die disobeying all the laws. But all the fault and guiltiness will slip right through their paws. Cause finding where the blame lies is like scratching for a flea. And catching those darn critters is like barking up a tree. They were the doggonest gang that a man did ever see. All of them were animals just like you and me. A breed unto themselves. To match them there were none. Famous both as man's best friend. Public enemy number one.
Come on, I'll help you to the house. That's better, trainer. You now we're starting to get results. We could add a dead Jojo. Nah, Jojo's tough. He'll be right back in there tomorrow. You don't understand, Eddie. It shouldn't happen, only if I give the command. But I guess Dobermans are different. I told you I never worked Dobermans before. I'm only used to shepherds, and I want them. There are bankrolls in Dobermans, and believe me, that's just what the doctor ordered. I'm not going to work them anymore, Eddie. They're vicious. They'll turn on me next. Trainer, that's just the kind of animal we want. Now, you call it. Just stick with it. Everything's going to be fine. I'm delighted with what you're doing. This is too risky, Eddie. I suppose we never took a risk before. But we didn't come out here to get eaten by dogs. We've been here a month already. If I'm going to get chewed up, at least let it be part of a job. It is. Eddie, we just want to talk to you a second. We'll talk. Don't mind me. Well, look at him out there. That's a clean-cut, all-American boy. The day you tell him what he's here for, he ain't going to go for it. That's all. Maybe. But the way I tell him, he'll go for it. Timing, fellas. Strictly a matter of timing. I've talked to a lot of clean-cut cops. <laughs> I even talked to a clean-cut judge once. It's all a matter of timing. Take this, Jim. I have to go to the bank for a minute. Hello. I'd like a ten dollar money order. Okay. some help? Sure. Finish at the bank? Yeah. Take a good look at this place? Why? Not much to see. Say that again. Never lived in a one-horse town before. Me either. I can't stand these little places. I don't understand Eddie. What's he want around here? Security dogs? There's nothing to guard. Maybe he's got bigger plans. Well, they better not include me. I'm not working those dogs anymore. I can turn on you. What do you think of Eddie? Thoughtful, generous, nice guy. He's not really a reporter, is he? No. What is he? Make a difference? He's a guy, just a guy. You always go with just guys? If they give me what I want.
I know your whole scam. You want to rob the Pine Grove Bank with those Dobermans. First you stole the kennels, then you stole the dogs. That's why you never talked to me about getting them. They just turned up. You see, Sammy, you keep telling me the trainer don't know nothing. He's got it all figured out. What you don't know, you can't know. Like you're an expert with the dogs, and I'm an expert with the banks. How to get in, how to get out, and a hell of a lot richer. Now, this caper we're pulling with the dogs is perfect. Nobody goes to jail, and nobody gets hurt. There's only one thing wrong with the job, Eddie. I'm not interested. said, we'll take care of the dogs. What are you going to do with them? Kill them. Jeez, Eddie. Relax, Sammy. I just gave him something to think about. <laughs> He'd really kill him, wouldn't he? I can't let him do it, Jeff. made them into something special, Barney, but there's a lot of money in what Eddie's got planned. You can't walk out now. But I'd never have come here if I'd known what the deal was. Do you think I should go through with it? Well, we're all counting on you. Well, say I'm in on it. I still don't know if I could do it. But you don't even know what Eddie's got planned yet. Going on the premise that you're involved, Barney, you'll train the dogs to act according to the following plan on the day of the robbery. Shortly before closing time, Ma Barker enters the bank, crosses to the security guard, the only one they've got, and she'll station herself so that she can cover him. And you'll train the dogs that should he make the slightest move for his weapon, she won't kill him. She'll rip his arm off. Clyde enters the bank and covers the rear. He'll deal with the customers when the time comes. Nobody gets in or out without dealing with Clyde. Bunny comes in, crosses over there, and takes care of the bank officials at their desks. Pretty boy Floyd comes to this window, gets up on the counter, and deals with everybody at that end of the room. Babyface Nelson comes to this window and does the same thing with everybody at that end. Now Dillinger comes in. Dillinger has a note in his mouth. He crosses to teller window A. This girl takes the note and reads it. Now, what does the note say? This is a holdup. Nobody will be hurt if you follow the instructions of this note to the letter. These dogs have been trained to the highest degree of sensitivity. At the slightest provocation, they will attack and kill. Well, that'll put the fear of God into the bank officials and customers, right? Each dog wears two saddlebags capable of holding $50,000 per bag in United States currency. The officers of the bank will gather and insert that sum in each bag within the next five minutes or everybody in the bank will be killed. I don't like that part. In the first place, how do you think they'll manage it, Eddie? You mean they can't do it? No way. Then it's just a threat. Look, with these people staring down those Dobermans, they'll believe every word of it. Now, you realize, trainer, not one of us, not you, 
Not me, not one of us is in that bank during the robbery. Just the dogs. Now, if all the dogs get through, jackpot. That's $600,000. If only four dogs get home, that's 400000 Two dogs, 200000 No dogs, nothing. No, but you can train them to come home. Okay. What about cops? There's a cop and a half in that town during the daytime. That bank hasn't even been breathed on since 1963. I'm not in the bank with the Dobermans, huh? Right. How do I control them? You teach them. They remember. Doesn't work like that. They have to get commands. A lot of things could happen. I got to think about it before I can decide. All right? All right. I made up my mind, but I want to get a few things cleared up. Go. How much is it worth to you? My part of the job. Equal. We share like always. Equal. Right, Eddie? Now, let me understand you correctly. You want me to train the dogs to go into the bank, get the money, and not to be stuck with any phony paper or anything but the real McCoy. And you want me to train the dogs to leave the bank and return to us. Right. Uh-huh. And what are you going to do? Whatever you tell us. Whatever you say. I want half. Hold, hold it, Giorgio. He just don't understand. Up to now, we've been like a family. You do your specialty with the dogs, we help you. The dogs do their specialty, we don't kick about cleaning up after them. Family. Before you, the three of us, we're a team. Equal shares, right? Now you're a part of a team. No way you get half. <laughs> you keep talking like that. We do our specialty on you. That's Emmis. You in or out? I'm in. Attaboy. All right. If you're going into town, here's a list of stuff I want. Okay, trainer. complicated than you think. To work out right, each dog has to have his own code sound. I don't follow you, trainer. Simple to talk about. You assign each dog a high-frequency whistle. Sounds undetectable to the human ear, but dogs can hear it. I teach each of the dogs to respond only to one whistle, then teach them a series of commands to respond to.
I don't. Weird. He blows his whistle in here. Anyway, we can't hear nothing. They can't see nothing. But the second they hear it, whammo! <laughs> Better call him off, trainer, before Sammy gets hurt. Quiet, June. Quiet. All right, Jojo. Blow recall for Clyde. Keep him quiet, June. Go ahead, Jojo. J. Edgar. <laughs> This will give you some idea how well these dogs are trained. Only the whistles control them now. When Jojo blew attack, he tore into the nearest moving thing. I'm sorry, June. Honest. I think he'll be all right. Let's take him in the house. I'll give you a taste of mine. Oh, swell. Now, this is a business proposition between the trainer, Sammy, Jojo, and me. Now, you're with me. Now, they ain't going to give you anything. Worry. Take good care of you. How good? Maybe ten thousand dollars. 
A $600,000 robbery and I'm not even in for 10%? Okay, June, you got it. Little enough, 10%. Uh-uh. 15 G's, baby. Now that's it, okay? You're really a great guy, Eddie. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, pretty boy. You're doing a great job with the dogs, Barney. Thanks. Dobies are easier to train than I thought they'd be. Pretty boy. What are your plans after the job? Get that security business going. You and Eddie? Oh, we're going no place. Eddie throws everything away. People, too. I never had enough to throw anything away. <laughs> when I was in high school, there was this girl. I don't even remember her name. Just remember she had a ponytail. I'll bet you do too remember. Yeah. It was Joanne Murata. I bet she doesn't remember my name. Well, anyway, she wasn't my girl. But I liked her better than Coley did. He was my buddy. But in the spring, he asked some other girl to go with him to the carnival. So I took Joanne. I was glad I could. Most of the night on the merry-go-round of the Ferris wheel, she was crying. I pick up where other people leave off, I guess. Barney, are you sure the dogs can make it back from the bank? I mean, all the way back here, right here. That's three miles, baby. The route I've laid out, uh, shortcuts and all, it's only two miles. So as long as they hear the whistles, they'll get back? It's not the whistles, Jojo. It ain't. Smell it. it. Smells like dirt. Smells like home. Dogs know the smell of every inch of this place. Spread some of this dirt all the way from the bank, scatter a little bit here, a little bit there, and they follow it all the way home. <laughs> <laughs> Creek quite a bit lately, haven't you? You don't own me anymore. <laughs> Trainer giving you something I didn't? It wouldn't take much. Cheap broad. Oh. Trainer, you better teach this dog some new manners. the way I want him to do it. I want him up on his hind legs with his paws, up on the counter like this. Otherwise, the broad's not going to take the note. You missed the whole point, trainer. I can't get him to do that. Well, work on it. It's a must. Got your bags, Ed. The guy said he got him as close to your specifications as he could. That's fine. Everything's fine. Or is it? Every time I look at these mutts, I keep wondering if I've missed something. I'll try and get the paws up on the counter. No, no, that's not it. Now, I gotta know, trainer. Is there any way these dogs can be stopped? I mean, they're not like Great Danes or something. They're not that big, really. So could some hero come along and take them? Only one way I know to stop a Dobie. You can grab him by the throat. By the throat, huh? All right, Jojo, back to town. Get me some roofing nails, two or three boxes. Well, come on, move it, let's go. 
everybody. Come on. Go ahead. Go. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Hey, boy. Hey, baby. Baby face. Come on. Okay, boy. Come on. Everybody in the truck. Come on. Come on. Baby, that's what you're doing here. I don't see her. There she is. What the hell? What's wrong? Get her away from there, Barney. Well, what are you waiting for, Barney? Don't let her go in there. She'll get stuck. Sammy, Ma Barker's on her way back. At least I think she's on her way back. Over. What happened? Over. Some joker pulled the drapes in the bank. Over. Oh, I think I got Ajuda. Beautiful planning, Eddie. What do we do now? We go again in a couple of days. What about the drapes? Like I told you, you train the dogs. I'll take care of everything else. Barney. Barney, take a look at this. They're going already. Clyde. Hey, Eddie, they're all on their way. Now you guys hit the ranch. Take it easy. No sweat, plenty of time. I don't want any traffic tickets. Over and out. Come on, Jojo, let's get back to the ranch.
sick dogs, Barney. It's too bad animals like that have to die. like to get rid of all of us. What are you talking about? If you could get rid of everybody, then you'd have the perfect crime. Just shut up. Go into the guard, blow the whistle. Now. Blow the whistle. This is where I leave you. you get your butt back in here and get to work or you're a dead man. I got the dogs in the bank. You can't touch them unless you go in there yourself. You remember a dog saved my life once? Oh, I'm just returning the favor. Trainer! What do you think you're doing? You want everybody up here? Look, the dogs are in the bank. Let's work. Well, what are we going to do without that punk? We'll blow the whistles. You think you can? I'm not sure. I think he wants you to take the nose from his mouth.
Sandy. <clears throat> Sandy, read this note aloud. This is a holdup. <laughs> She's got him. Low release. I think you better read the rest of the notes, Sandy. No one will get hurt if the instructions in this note are followed to the letter. These dogs have been trained to the highest degree of sensitivity. The slightest provocation will cause them to attack and kill. Each dog wears two saddlebags capable of holding at least 50,000 per bag in United States currency. The officers of this bank must collect and insert that sum in new bills into each bag. Should they fail to do so within the next five minutes, the dogs will attack and kill everyone in the bank. <laughs> You have five minutes from the time that Sandy concludes the reading of this note. Thank you. Mr. Paxton, what do we do? Let's give him the money. What should we do? Well, I guess we better give him the real thing. Come on, girls, give us a hand. See you back at the ranch. And believe me, sweetheart, you'll get your cut. Equal. I'll take care of everything here, Eddie. Mr. Paxton, why are they still here? I don't know. Ask the dogs.
were the doggonest gang that a man did ever see. All of them were animals, just like you and me. A breed unto themselves, to match them there were none. Famous both as man's best friend, public enemy number one. 341, a 261 at 4th and MacArthur. Can you give me a description? Six dogs wearing saddlebags and spike collars. Oh, come on. You're trying to tell me six dogs are holding up a bank? Underway? Barney got him into the bank and he walked. What? That's all right. Jim blew the whistle and everything worked out fine. That kid's gonna get hit, Eddie. I'll see to it personal. You see him yet? Not yet, but they'll be here. You know, it's too bad the trainer can't be here. Let's see how the whole thing comes out. <laughs> only three bags. I guess we've lost a couple hundred thousand. Now, wait a minute. Oh, I gotta hand it to the trainer. He really knew what he was doing. I think we got five. gang. In all my life in the business, I've never seen anything like it. Oh, let's get to bread and get out of here.
Doggone it, gang, that a man did ever see. All of them were animals, just like you and me. A breed unto themselves, to match them there were none. Famous bold is man's best friend, public enemy number one. Some of them have died disobeying all the laws. But all the fault and guiltiness have slipped right through their paws. Not finding where the blame lies, just like scratching for a flea. Just catching those damn critters is like barking up a tree. They were the doggonest gang that a man did ever see. All of them were animals, just like you and me. A breed unto themselves, to match them there were none. Famous both as man's best friend, and public enemy number one. So that's my shaggy story about this gang of mine And how they got together and pulled the perfect crime Untouched by human hands, a bank was robbed today And everyone's still saying, doggone it anyway They were the doggonest gang that a man did ever see All of them were animals, just like you and me A breed unto themselves, to match them there were none Famous both as man's best friend Number one. Here, boy, here, boy. 